All right, welcome back, guys. Instead of doing a pickup video because we can't get out of the house because we're not allowed, we're on lockdown, old pandemic thing. I was thinking about what would be top ten games that I'm on the hunt for. What's my wish list? We should. Start what am I targeting? We should start <laughs> saving while we can't spend any money then, because yeah, really. you had me price them out and they pricey. Something. We're gonna go from lowest to highest. Yes. I compile the list. I try to do a top 10 games that I wanted or I have a, that are in my mind um, when I'm going out hunting and seeing stuff. I'm reading that and there's more than 10. Well, if you're a collector, how can you just say 10? But these are 10 games. It's like you've got a baker's dozen of games. <laughs> these are 10 games that I think are reasonably achievable when it comes to collecting them. Yes. Because there's some some games that are pretty cheap so from lowest price to most achievable mm -hmm. to highest price and maybe i might not be able to get it this year i got i got christmas and then i got father's day father's day and then i got wedding anniversary and then I got wedding i i'm pretty sure there was two people at that wedding J july 1st and there's can't you get a present for canada day <laughs> halloween <laughs> Scary game for Halloween? You didn't even get me a game for St. Patrick's Day. And I'm full on leprechaun. Look at me. You don't get a game. You get a beer for St. Patrick's Day and you got plenty. First game on my list is a Wii game. It's Pirates Plunder. Plunder. <laughs> you looked up the price for me on the price guide. I did. And it comes up and the price guide is $20. Yeah. Complete. And can't find it anywhere locally. I, I, I've been trying. I haven't even seen it locally nope, here. I haven't either. Um, I don't know if they... Well, we're in a smaller city. Mm -hmm. That's probably the most... Right, but even going on eBay, yeah. very rarely see it on eBay. And when I do see it on eBay, that's one of those games that the shipping is more than the game. Mm -hmm. And it's irritating. The reason why I want it, it's a four-player game. Mm -hmm. And it's if, when I see gameplay footage of it, it looks a lot like or very similar to Castle Crashers and we enjoyed that. We did. We Castle really Crashers, did. Yeah. me, you and Alex Yeah, I that. remember that. And it, it's a blast. It's fun. Really fun. The only so. non-fun part for me during Castle Crashers is that when we would fight each other, I would always lose. <laughs> At the end, when you fight... Oh, after you beat the boss yes! and then you fight every... Yeah. Castle Crashers. Awesome. We should play that again. We should play it again. I can't believe the boy hasn't... He's he's getting a little bored. We're in a month a month in, and he's getting yeah. a little bored. Yeah. He'll say to us every now and again, "I'm bored," and then he'll run off and play again. Yeah, and he'll run away. I'm like just, okay, just wanted to let us know. <laughs> Second game on my list I'm looking for is an NES game. It's called Ninja Crusaders. I've never played it. I know you don't even know. I don't know. It's half it. not a very common game, but if I had to describe it, and you'll know because you edit these videos when you go look at game yeah. play footage. It's basically Ninja Contra. You oh, got really? instead of red pants, blue pants, you got red ninja, blue pants, ninja. Oh, <laughs> awesome! Yeah. And why I want this game? And is it as hard as? I guess it's pretty difficult. It's even harder one player than it is two player, from what I understand. Well, yeah, you have not as many people fighting with you if you have two people fighting. Yeah. So my idea on this game is, I want to get it, and I want me and Dennis to play it. Okay, good enough so that... No, not you. You want to play it? No, I guess I'm not Dennis, so... Yeah, you're not Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Made me lose my thoughts. Um, we're going, me and Dennis, I want me and Dennis to play it, get good at it, and then possibly do like a live stream, try to oh, go through the game. Oh, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Pick number three. Three. Pick number three is an original Xbox game. And if people are watching this show... On the consistent there, you know that I like collecting original Xbox games. Yep. This one I don't have. It's Outrun 2. I don't even know what it's about. That's sad. Well... You're, it's basically a racing game. Ferrari. You're in a Ferrari, but I guess in this game you have way more choices. There's more cars to choose oh, from. okay. See, I saw you Outrun must... 2 and I thought it was going to be scary. <clears throat> 
because I thought it last. <laughs> you must remember the old arcade game. I do. With the steering wheel. Yeah. Outrun, the little red oh, car. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There you I go. do remember well, it. Well, this okay, one okay. is, it looks amazing. I, I've seen gameplay of it there, and the backgrounds are all 3D now and everything, and it looks amazing. I am a shit player of games like that. I cannot control a car to save my life. I'm surprised I even have a license in real life. I'm no good at games like that. I'm no good at games <laughs> like that. This one looks great, and apparently it's backwards compatible on the Xbox 360, but I watched a video, and I don't know if it, when it first came out yeah. as being backwards compatible, there was a lot of glitches in the 360, oh. playing it on the 360. But now, on the playing original? It, playing it on the original Xbox, it, was fine. it played great. It, oh. was, it still looks great. But on the 360, I don't. I'm assuming. They fix some of I'm assuming they fixed those glitches. That's if it's still on the list. Yeah. I couldn't find if it was still on the list or not. I'd have to look at something more recent. Yeah. As far okay. as I know, Outrun 2 is still on that list. I don't know if it still performs the same way or if it's gotten better. I would assume they would fix the glitches because I don't think yeah. Microsoft wants to leave a game, especially. When I seen this was from 2007. Like okay. they, I'm sure they've fixed it or they've taken it off the list. Yeah. It's one or the other. It's probably. Either way, I have an original Xbox and I want to play it because it looks awesome. I'd even try it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd crash it. Yeah. I'd try it. <laughs> game number four. Game number four is another original Xbox game. And I had a friend, Patrick, tell me about this game. Oh, really? Sent me a message on, on Messenger. He said, I know you're into the survival horror game. Check this one out. Ooh. Yes. So the name of it is Curse, uh, the the Eye of I Isis? Isis. The Eye of Isis. I read a little bit on the description of the game. The whole story goes that you are uh, you work in a museum, a history mm -hmm. museum. You were telling me about yes. this. Some thieves come in and they steal uh, the statue of Isis. Yep. And then uh, I'm assuming it's like a curse or something happens and the, the museum fills with a kind of a fog or a mist, turns people and things into creatures that you're going to have to battle. And everything that I've, I've read or seen, it uh, people compare it to the, uh, the early Resident Evils yeah. for controls and atmosphere and everything. That'd be super They also cool. compared it to the early Silent Hill games. And I wouldn't know this one, but they compared it to Obscure on the PS2. I don't have that game. I've, never I've played heard it. of Obscure, but we it's yeah we haven't played it. Mucho dinero, that one. That's a. It's on the list. Yeah, no, that's not on the list because that's a <laughs> later down the road kind of game. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I've at least heard of this next one. I think everybody has heard of this, but maybe not on this console. You've heard of this game? Oh, I'm reading one down. Never mind. So cute. Thank All you. right. <laughs> Just so happens on this list, because I'm going from the lowest price to, price the, highest to the highest price, I have three original Xbox games in a row. Yeah. Xbox, original Xbox games, I love collecting them because they are cheaper. They are normally cheaper than getting the PS2 version. Yes, it is. So... Another original Xbox. This is the last one. I promise you. So hang on. It's Land of the Dead: Road to Fiddler's Green. Yes. It. It's. Um, I have not heard of this one. You know. I lied. But you. <laughs> I you've, meant the next one. You've heard of the movie. Yes. Apparently, this is kind of like I've heard people describe it as like either uh, a prequel to the movie. Oh, okay. Or even a kind of a side story to the movie. Ooh. Um, uh, I can't remember the director's name. Was it Romero? I think he was involved with this game. It got terrible, horrible oh. reviews when it first came out because the game was so glitchy okay. and basically <clears throat> broken. But they fixed the glitches? I, as far as I know... I hope so because it sounds I really watched, cool. Yes, it's, it's a typical first-person shooter style zombie game. Mm. Uh, you get your melee weapons and stuff like that. Uh, I watched a review on it here just today, and the guy, the big complaint that he had was the the hitbox when you're shooting. Like if you're shooting, going for a headshot, yeah. 
it's like the hitbox is almost broken. You're not you could aim directly at that head oh, sometimes and it won't hit him. But you can aim maybe slightly to the right, and boom, headshot. So I would so, be really good at this game because I can never you, aim at anybody's head. You might, you might, you I might be. be fantastic at this. It looked good enough for me that I was very interested in trying the game. And it's it's one of those Xbox. This game would kill you then if the aim was off because you are great at making headshots. I'm on. not great. I think you're great. But I love it. I love shooting <laughs> something in the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, All right, enough of that game. Let's get on to something else other than original Xbox. Okay. All right. I've heard of this You've one. You've heard of this game. <laughs> and if you has. haven't heard of it, you can get out of my If house. anybody hasn't heard <clears throat> of this game, yeah. you've been living under a rock. Mm. So maybe not on this console, but it's a game you should be familiar All with. All right, before I tell you the name of the game, I want this game for just pure novelty this is one of those conversation starters has have you ever tried this game oh and i'll tell man. you what it is double dragon you're like well yeah i played double dragon no, no. double dragon on the atari, on the atari. <laughs> it was one of the last games i don't think it was the last but it yeah. was in at the tail end of the atari 2600 I actually, the first time I think I seen gameplay or review done on this game was Friday Night Arcade. Go check them out, guys. Does some great reviews. Go look at this one. Double Dragon <laughs> on the Atari is strictly novelty because it looks like absolute crap. Well, it yeah, does. It's on the it Atari. looks like crap. Apparently, it plays like crap. But <laughs> me being a big, big beat up guy. Yes. And a big Double Dragon fan. And a big Double Dragon fan. Yep. I want to get it just just to say I have it and play it once, at least play it once, <laughs> and then watch other people when they come over Struggle. try it, look at it and say, what a piece of poo this is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so it's a fairly, not super expensive, but as no. far as Atari games go... It's up like, there in price. My Atari collection, I, oh, I probably have between between 20 and 30 games. Yeah. Maybe, you can maybe grab most Atari games, though, from pawn cheap. shops you for can like get them five real cheap. bucks. Five bucks, yeah, you can get them dirt cheap. This one here, I haven't been able to find. I can barely find it on eBay. But... I know. I, now, I, I don't remember know. you telling me to keep an eye out for this. I do see go. PAL versions. Yeah. Now, I, I haven't looked it up. I don't know if, a, I don't know if our Atari 2600 is region locked. I, 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 no I don't know. I, sh I should look it up. Next game. Keeping up with the theme. Next. <laughs> it's just the way <laughs> the price guy goes. I know. The next true. game is another Atari game. But this one looked cool. This one looks really fun. And Patrick, I know you're you're into collecting a couple of the Atari games. If you don't know this one, you definitely should go check it out. Go to the Friday Night Arcade channel, and he did a review on it. This game looks good. It's called Beam Rider. As far as uh, Atari games go, this this looks pretty good. It looks pretty fun. Price guide says it's fifty five dollars loose. Yeah. So. And I don't even I know think, if you could get it for that. I don't know. It's hard to say. I I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one. I looked it's, on eBay and I find them, but. That's the thing with fair market value saying that it's worth this, but then also you have yeah. to factor in. How collectible is it? How hard is it to get a hold of? A game, that drives up the price. A game is only worth what people are willing to pay. Exactly. And if you're a collector, and that's a rare game, and that's a rare game because that came in at the end of the Atari 2600 life. Right? Yeah. From what I understand. And it's a, it looks really good. It looks, plays good. You're a spaceship on the bottom. And oh, how am I not surprised? You well, love those games. Yeah, you it love looks those really good. It, really, it does. It really looks good. I believe you. I believe you. And if, and when we can ever get it, we will try it. I bet you money. Dennis will play it and love it. Oh, probably. Because Dennis uh, appreciates the Atari system. It's now. Just had to get that dig I in there. have to. I you know, was like. Twist the knife. I was like. I'm, I'm thinking it, maybe I don't say it, and then it came out before I could stop my mouth. Just dirty. Just dirty. All right. He's not here to defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> defend yourself in the comments. Now we're getting into some Sega Genesis stuff. Yeah. I, my whole theory with the Sega Genesis stuff is I usually collect loose. Yes. I do have... We have a few Maybe 10 copies, complete yeah. copies. The first Sega Genesis game 
that I'm trying to pick up, and I'll get it loose first. Yeah. If, if maybe I'll get lucky and find a complete copy, and I have to trade a bunch of stuff in for it. But it's the Hyperstone Heist. I have Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo, but I don't have the Sega Genesis version. Oh no. And I've never played it. Wow. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to do that. You get some time. I know, right? Do you have some right? time? I don't have the game. I thought you said you had the other game. Have you played the other game? Yes, I played. Oh, I, I thought played you Turtles said you've never time. played Turtles in Time. Shame on you. Shame on you. Well, you know why? Shame on you. Because Dennis played it here, <laughs> didn't he? No, me and Alex played it. Oh, shame on me. <laughs> yes, shame on you. I don't pay attention to what you guys play. You play games all the time. <sighs> all right, another Sega Genesis game is Streets of Rage 3. Remember when you had that? And it wasn't that. <laughs> it's a very sensitive, sensitive story problem. there, yeah. I won an auction on eBay. I For got really myself. Good price. It was a good price. It mm -hmm. was probably about $35 loose. The uh, description in it was like, this is not the exact cartridge. I was expecting something with the label's gonna be tore all crap. Look, look what. Yeah. Pile so basically, junk. they showed you a good version of it and said, we have one like this, but yeah. it's not yeah, in that this happens. great condition. That happens. So for 35 bucks, I was like, well, yeah, I want it. I wanted to make a collection. Yeah. I'll upgrade it exactly. later on. Exactly. So got the. Uh, I won the auction. It was shipped to me. Got it here. It was Streets of Rage 2. And we already have it. <laughs> I wouldn't pay $35 for a loose copy of Streets of Rage 2. My feeling on the whole thing was is that this bigger eBay store screwed up, put yeah. the wrong price on it because they had multiple copies in the listing. And once I won, they took them down. Yeah. And I'm like, what the hell's going on there? So, and then when I got my cart, it was like wrong cart altogether. So they played, oops, oh, sorry, we don't have any copies. And I'm like, you cocks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I send it back. Now, feeling like I was dealing with somebody that wasn't completely honest. Yeah. I'm sure there's a few of those. Oh, and yeah. I made sure I put some tracking on it. I got my refund for the, for the, uh, the game. But he would not refund me the shipping cost back. Nope. Like, ooh, and then and then would not send me the game. So period. we basically paid. I I basically lost money sending it back. Yeah. Because he wouldn't honor. And the worst thing about it, once that was all said and done and closed, they reposted the fucking games on the damn on the site. Oh. For, for the right price. For the right price. For the right oh price. Oh my god, I was mad. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So needless to say, we do not buy from that eBay store anymore. No. no. I was... And I'm... We're that not, still burns. There's there's nothing good to come of naming them. It just, no, no, it's, I'm not You know, go we're not that type yeah. of people. But we just... You know what? He screwed up and he wasn't willing to admit it. This was a couple years ago. Yeah. And just recently, I... I seen a YouTube video actually of somebody talking about them and the reason why they were going out of business. Long story short is I'm still pissed off and bitter about it. <laughs> Years later. Do you want to move on? Yes, I'm going to okay. move on. Okay. Alright. Phil's going to be so proud of us. And the reason why she's saying that is because <laughs> the next one is a Nintendo game. Yeah. Want to guess, Phil, if you're watching? Um... The next one is Mega Man number one. I don't have it in the collection yet. Not yet. I plan on getting a loose copy. Mm -hmm. I'm not really into collecting complete box copies of Nintendo games. Yeah, although we do have... We do have a couple. We do have a couple, and we have yeah. a few uh, SNES ones. The reason why I have yeah. a collection of boxed any Super Nintendo game is because Dennis basically donated all the boxes. They were stored in his parents' basement for Ever? probably 20 plus years. And you see, yeah. So he just gave them to me. I like. I, I tried to give him some stuff back just to compensate for it, but it doesn't even come close to the same value. I know. <laughs> so, man, I, I, I don't know. I'm so appreciative of that. It's just yeah. crazy. The last time Phil was over, he was over looking at the shelf with all those Super Nintendo boxes all lined up on the top. And you guys will see that later on in a maybe in another game yeah. game room tour. 
Yeah. And he's looking at all that. He's like, where did you get all those? I'm like, Dennis gave them to me. And he gave me this look like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like, you wish you were shit. better friends with Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not. Oh, man. Anyway, I really, I really appreciate that. that yeah. That's... Oh, it's it I, the worst thing about it, I have boxes that I don't even have the games for yet. Yeah. Because he kept the games because he, he plays he games all plays the time. The he plays, exactly. the, plays the games. But when it comes right down to it, it's harder to get those boxes. Oh, it it's way to harder get to get the boxes. So. Way harder. Yeah. So, Mega Man number one. I haven't even seen a copy of Mega Man number one in this city in the last two years. I know. Since I started really seriously collecting. I'm sure there have been, but... We just haven't seen them. Some people are out there every day. Yep. And we don't have the ability to go out there every day. No. And we especially don't have the ability right now because you're not allowed out there any day. Well, everything's closed. <laughs> Comic Hunter is still open. They're doing like a curbside pickup, social yep. distancing, whole nine yards. You guys should definitely check them out. They have yeah. a ton. They have the most, I think, uh, board games. Most board games in Atlantic yeah. Canada in store, and oh, yeah. they have a fantastic selection of board games, of and comic a books, of magic. Fantastic staff and owner. Oh yeah. So yeah. definitely, if you guys are looking for anything to keep you busy while you're stuck in the house yeah, cool. and they also had a listing on their facebook page of two-player cooperative games because a lot of people are just stuck in the house stuck with their significant other or their family and just check it out get your ticket to ride yep. get your katans get your mansions of madness they have all that stuff fantastic selection of games i just wanted to put a plug in there because we yeah. really enjoy and miss being able to do all our running around and seeing our people Yes. And they're one of our people. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. These are the top. Now we're last getting in... top two games. You didn't even put the last one on the list. Shame on you. What last Shame. one? Shame. I will tell you when I get there. I'm going to do these last two that she has on my list in front of the camera here together. Splatter House number two and three. <laughs> um, both of those games are very hard to get yeah yeah splatterhouse two and three either one if i could get either one of those this year loose would be a huge victory so is i love that i love i don't know why but i love that i love it are I one of those it. your number ones to get like no they're not number one i'm gonna tell you what the number one was is the number one you want to get the most expensive one? Of course. Well, sweet Jesus. And it's not even the most expensive game that I can think of right now that I want in my collection. Splatterhouses, yeah, those are awesome. Awesome those beat em are ups. Awesome. I, I really, I really like them. I've only played them on emulators, so yeah. I would love to have a physical. We copy. played a Splatterhouse for Halloween. PS3. Yeah, and it that's was. That's not the same. I know it wasn't the same, but yes. we've played a Splatterhouse, and yeah, that same. was so I much. Know fun and i can't believe we haven't picked it up again what are you waiting for i know well yeah. i'm playing a game right now but i can't tell the people because it's part of my gamer's education oh top game on my list that i want to have in my collection is castlevania symphony of the night isn't it ps1 i want to have a black label well yes <laughs> uh, it's just the collector in me I know. I've I've never I never had one. I've never had one. Um, I've only ever played it. I played it on my PS3. I had a digital copy, which I could also play on my Vita. Oh yeah. And then I also had digital copies on the Xbox One, I do believe, yeah. and a, a few other systems. Because they ported it to everything. I haven't played it. But that would be something. That's like a holy grail for me. Yeah, you it's know, a, it's there are a, more an expensive, expensive games, one. but this one here, you priced today without the price guide for what around 150 was it? Uh, yeah, I 125? priced it out for 125. You said you've seen it closer to 150. 50. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. For me to get that, it has to be I think around town something that I can take some stuff into my collection and trade in on it so that Father like, stays in but, June. Really? <laughs> and you're a really good dad. Really? I'm really, really, good, really dad. good dad. He's a really good dad. <laughs> so, but Alex does not have a job. What the hell? Give him a paper I mean, route. Get him does, a paper route. 
as as a job, he drives us crazy. But he does it well. Yeah, and he does that really he well. If that really paid, well. it would pay in dividends. Oh. He would he would be making yes. a fortune. He'd be making a fortune. Oh yeah. Those are the games I want to collect, but I want to talk about one console, a new console that I don't own. And have never I've owned. I've never owned, never played, and I actually want to get one and start collecting for it. And we have many consoles. Well, we don't have that many consoles. We have enough. It's really not that many. Stop lying to the people. We have a lot of consoles. We just don't. I, I got a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing some of the really expensive consoles. Well, yeah. 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 Let's not name them off. There. No, but this it one just here. Makes you sad. This one here is, is attainable. Is, is this one's attainable? It's it's not really expensive. Like it was a no. lot cheaper a few years ago, but yeah. now it's kind of gone up. Yeah. It's a Sega Dreamcast. No, you're oh, you've never played the Sega Dreamcast. Okay. Sega Dreamcast came out in North America. I looked it up. It was September 9th of 1999. I worked, I think, two jobs, part two part-time jobs for the rest of the winter until uh, fall of the next year when I went to college. After I met you, I finished college. Um, Got my diploma. I moved to Moncton. Yeah. Shortly after you moved to Moncton with me. Yeah. So then, all right, first time on our own. Yeah. You basically have nothing. You have the furniture that family gives you. You yes. have the clothes on your back because we were broke. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, then the next Christmas after that, you got me the PS2. Yes. I, I think um, that was launch, wasn't it? I don't. Sure. I, I might be getting the years mixed up. I remember for a fact that you got me the PS2 on launch and you got me SmackDown. Yeah. So, yeah. that was a big deal there. Yeah. I was in the PS2 and PS2 basically killed Dreamcast. It did, yeah. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Dreamcast's lifespan in North America went from September 1999 to March 2001. Wow. That's a short That's lifespan. That's a short lifespan. It's a very short lifespan. Considering you have your Xbox Ones and your PS4s, which are going on what? Usually, uh, each generation tends to last about seven years. -ish. Yeah. Are we on our... How far into that are we now? Oh, I'm not we're sure how this whole thing is going to affect the new launch of the systems. I keep wondering that. I've been doing so, a you, little bit of research. And you, me, and every other gamer out there yep. is... A little bit stressed out in the back. It's in the back of your mind right now. Like, how long is this pandemic going to go on for? Yeah. And is it going to affect the launch of PS5 and the Xbox Series X? Yeah. Anyhow. All right. I think we got to wrap this up. It's a long video. You'll cut and snip and everything. Yeah. All right, so if you guys stuck around for the entire video, thank you very much. There, I'm a little long-winded this time around. Because you had two coffees. I had two coffee, and I'm starting to drink beer, so everything's good. Yeah, we should level in it out. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you uh, if you want to keep up with our content, hit that notification bell. Yep. Hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. If new subs come on, and uh, keep on gaming. Yeah, keep on gaming. Bye. Bye.